What's up, y'all? Alright, so I'm gonna do something a little different this time. And I'm actually gonna talk about this trip day by day as it goes by. Because sometimes I talk about these trips a week later or whatever, and I forget certain key parts. So let me get into it. So right now I'm in St. Martin. I landed today. The flight was cool, flight was quick from New York. It didn't take long, flight was smooth. Once we landed, the airport was one, two, three. You know, we didn't have to fill out no forms. We just went straight through, you know, showed our passport and we was out of there. The airport is a small airport, so they only have one carousel where your bags comes out. But, um, you know, it, it, was, uh, it wasn't that bad. So, from there, we got a taxi, and then that's when the story started taking a turn for the funny. So, went to the taxi, asked for a taxi. Um, the dispatcher pointed us in the direction of a guy who already had a guy in his car. Um, the guy had an attitude. He, uh, you know, didn't have the price of the taxi. We had to go back to the dispatcher to ask for the price. And, you know, it was a little mix-up. Me and my girl were getting inside the car, and the, and the guy that was already in there, he was in the back seat. The cab driver, you know, had to push the seat back. It was like a van with like two rows, three rows or whatever. He pushed the seat back on the guy, then he crushed his leg. So I'm like, Yo, what the hell type of shit is that? But, you know, that happened. Then we get to the resort, which is a nice resort. We staying at the Simpson Bay Resort. It's pretty big. Um, you have to actually take a shuttle to get from the lobby to your room because the resort is that big and it's hills and everything like that. Um, the guy who gave us the ride, he had an attitude, you know. Uh, everybody here seems like they have attitudes and they're kind of spicy, you know what I mean? So we got to our hotel room. Along the way, he dropped off a few other passengers. He was talking kind of crazy to them and uh, just being rude and everything. And then uh, we got to our room. The room is okay. It's a nice size. It has a full kitchen and everything. And uh, it was kind of dark when we got here, so we didn't really get a chance yet to see everything. But um, it's a few restaurants on the property. We wanted to go to this other restaurant called Astra, which um, they have like this lobster and stuff like that. You can pick out the lobster straight from the sea. And um, you know, they you know, they have to take pictures with it and everything like that. So we took a shuttle to get there. That shuttle driver was, was off. They took forever to come get us. And then uh, he picked up a, a, another lady who works here. He was talking to her kind of crazy and disrespectful. And that's when I just, you know, found out that, yeah, these people here, just they very rude and disrespectful. Um, prior to him picking us up, I called a car rental spot to see, you know, if they had um, anything available. Online, it said that 24 hours. Mind you, I'm calling him about 8 o'clock, 8.10, and it says it's 24 hours. He answered the phone. The guy on the phone had attitude. He's basically looking at me like, oh, what are you doing calling me so late? But your thing says 24 hours, you know what I mean? Then he asks me, oh, uh, what kind of car are you looking for? I tell him, like, you know, I just need something small. Oh, we don't have that. We don't have no small cars. Why did you ask me what I want if you didn't have it? Like, that don't, that don't make any sense, you know? So, yeah, they just very rude here, man. It's very disrespectful. So, you know, hopefully this trip could turn out to be a little better. Um, we made it to Astra. Um, once we walked through the door, it took a long time for them to come get us to seat us. And mind you, the spot wasn't crowded. It was, it was fairly empty. So we sit down at our table. We waited almost an hour before somebody even came. And uh, they never came, man. We wound up walking out. You know, it was upsetting because it looked like the food was going to be good, but it was just, you know, bad customer service. Um, yeah, some lady, one of the waiters did fall and hurt herself, you know, while she was, um, I guess, bringing a dish out or something like that. So a lot of attention went to her, but still, you know, it's, it's like other waiters should have still, you know, continue to do their job. Another group that walked in right behind us, they wound up, you know, got tired of waiting and they walked out. So um, it was getting late and um, the options were running slim. So we went across the street to this spot called Captain Rib House. Yeah. It's Captain Rib House, so you would think that they specialize in ribs and everything would be good. We got in, they set us down, they took a long time to come give us a menu and everything like that, uh, and I'll take our order. And um, yeah, man, we're just like, yeah, this, this, this whole island is kind of off, man. So um, yeah, you know, we sat down, uh, we tried to look through the menu, see what we wanted, order something, the lady said they didn't have it in stock. Order something else, the lady said they don't have that in stock. Then she proceeds to tell me they don't have one or two other items in stock. And then when I try to order another item in the section, she tell me, you know, matter of fact, the whole section is not in stock. So I'm like, why do you even say that when we first got here, you know? But yeah, man, it's just, it's just a funny thing. We laughing at it, but it's just, this is, I don't have bad customer service. Um, we ordered the chicken and ribs. 
chicken and ribs is nasty in my opinion. My girl liked the chicken, but I didn't like it. It was it was nasty. Um, the macaroni and cheese was good. The French fries, eh, I don't know. I'm not a big French fry fan, so I, I don't know. But yeah, the chicken and ribs is nasty, man. And like I said, for your name to be Captain Rib House, you would think the ribs would be the best thing there. Um, it was Thursday, and they had this Oyuki rib, um, you know, item on the on the menu, and I'm just glad I didn't get that. So um, from there, we went down the block to this um, this Italian um, restaurant slash lounge, and um, yeah, the people in there just looked like they was upset and angry and like they didn't like their job. And uh, we sat down, ordered some hookah, got some drinks. The hookah came harsh. You know what I mean? The second one was okay. We ordered a second round of hookah. That, that one was all right. And uh, the drinks was all right. The drinks were $10, so you know, I can't really complain too much. But yeah, man, it's just it's just been you know a story already. And this is only day one. So uh, we wound up walking back towards our resort, which wasn't too far from where we was at. And uh, once we was walking, we realized that you know it's a lot of hills and it's real, real steep hills. So we stopped at the lobby and um, attempted to get a, a shuttle to take us to our room. The guy that's there supposed to be dispatching, I guess, he had an attitude. And you know, it's just been, you know, non-stop attitude. So, you know, me, I'm ready for the fight. So we're gonna see what happens moving forward. <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted, man. Alright.